Psalms 118. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. That seems to be our subject the last few nights. It's giving thanksgiving to God. I mean, what more can you say? Raising thanks for a ball team or raising thanks for anything but God is a sin. It's repetition. It's something you got to know. For he is good. Why do you give thanks to God? Because he's good. Why don't you give thanks to a sports team or just a man or a woman? For all have sinned and come to shore of the glory of God. There is none good. No, not one. You know when Jesus told the, the, the thing about the Father, if a son comes and asks for bread, will you give him a rock? If he asks for something else, will you give him a serpent? And he says, you know, you fathers, if you know how to give good gifts to your children, being evil. You know, Jesus said, okay, a good father will give something good to his, but you're not good. You're an evil. You're wicked. You're a sinner. Let's just give God all the glory. Let's give God all the credit. Because his mercy endureth forever. That's a good reason. He's long-suffering. Let Israel, now this is the nation, now say that his mercy endureth forever. And let the house of Aaron, the priest class, now say that his mercy endureth forever. So guess who Psalms 18, 118 is written to? Jewish people. And they don't even know who the priests are today. Let them now that fear the Lord say, okay, this is the individuals, nation, priests, individuals, fear the Lord and say that his mercy endureth forever. So you know what the entire nation of Israel is, is to proclaim? Thanks to the Lord and his mercy endureth forever. I call upon the Lord in distress. Do you? The Lord answered me, yes, no, not now, and set me in a large place. A little cubby, little hole kind of place. The answer is, uh, would be, you know, he set him in a large place with God there, I would assume. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what what can men do unto me. Jesus said that, you know, fear not him that can kill the body, but fear him that's able to kill the body and destroy the soul. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Listen, you're supposed to hang out with a righteous group of people. You're supposed to hang out with those that love the Lord and those that are not. It is better to trust in the Lord than put confidence in man. Don't trust in men. Now, it is said, and it is not said, that the Lord there in verse 8, is the center of your Bible. I've seen both cases, therefore, and could be, may not be. I've never counted all the words. But that's supposed to be is the middle of your Bible, Psalm 118, 8, the Lord. Better place than anything else, I would assume, I guess. I don't know. I'm just not, that's not doctrinal, so it could be, you may not take it. You don't have to. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes, higher up men, men who, who can do something for the country. God is to be your trust. God is to be one you rely on. Uh, they, back when I grew up, banks were, used to have the name trust. Tells you something. And what, what words would banks use? They would use words from the Lord Jesus Christ will redeem 
A lot of words in the banking industry would match your Bible. And then they would turn around and say, you know, something in trust company or something in trust bank. The banks wanted you to love money and depart from God. All nations come past me about. All right. United Nations against Israel. All the Middle East nations, Edom and all them, and Jordan and all them were against Israel. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. David went in the name of the Lord and destroyed Goliath. They come past, it means circle around, me about, yea, they compass me about. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. The Lord Jesus Christ will come back and destroy them. Thou, uh, they compass me about like bees. Well, there's one animal you don't want flying around you is a bee. And you don't want to get him angry. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. And it's funny with the fire of thorns here. If you ever thrown thorns into a fire, it has a nice little poop, pop. And I guess if you do, if you take a whole bunch of bees and throw them in a the fire, I, I would assume they would pop. I don't want to try it. I'll, I'll take my risk and cut my fingers with thorns, but that, that's the implication in it. Maybe throw some bees into a fire, you get the popping too. It's fun to throw thorns, especially when no one's paying attention. And there was, there was something, there was another kind of seed pod plant. I mean, if you throw it in the fire, pfft, and there'd be all kinds of sparks and stuff like that. And when no one knew that you were doing it, it was the best kind of fun to have in a campfire. But I didn't say that. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. So God is the victor, not man, not princes. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall. The enemy. But the Lord helped me. David writes one time, let me fall in the hands of the Lord. For, for, for the Lord is merciful and gracious and man is cruel. How do you know? Who came up with a nuclear bomb, God or man? Now, God came up with the plutonium and whatever, uranium and stuff like that. Yeah, but what did man use? Who came up with the gun? God or man? Though the resources were there from God, man made it. Thou hast thrust sore at me, and I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song. Well, this is what this this is what a psalm is, a song. And it's become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. And the right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. Man may think he's rejoicing and, and having a good time lost in a bar room, but he's not. He's really in misery. Everybody that works with him and everybody that lives with him knows he's not rejoicing. And a lost man cannot say he has salvation. Salvation is only the tabernacles of the righteous. The tabernacle is where you live. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. And that right hand, I told you, the Lord Jesus Christ. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live. And declare the works of the Lord. That's what you're to do during your life. You are to give the testimony. We study that through the Psalms. You are to give testimony of God and give God the credit and tell unto others. The Bible says, go ye in all the world and preach the gospel. The Lord has chastened me sore. Uh-oh, that means you are a bad child of God. But he has not given me over unto death. Job. God allowed Satan to chasten Job, but he didn't kill him. That's one thing he told Satan in chapter 2. 
don't you kill him. So the boils and all that was because God loved Job and wanted Job to get right. Open to me the gates of righteousness. And I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. You can't say that about, you can't say that about, uh, that's, that's a church. That, not, no, no. Very few churches would you call the gates of righteousness. Even then, if you, you know, behind the scenes, when you don't know, you don't know what's going on either. I know every listen man's a sinner some are more the gate of the Lord unto which the righteous shall enter so there's a gate of the Lord and Jesus said that is the narrow straight gate and few that go therein I will praise thee so we're to give thanks to him now we're to praise thee for thou has heard me and art become my salvation. You ever thank the Lord because He's your salvation? Now here, you know, here's the Lord Jesus Christ. You, you, if you think I'm wrong, the stone which the builders refused has become the head stone of the corner. Matthew 21, 42, Acts 4, 11, Mark 12, 10, Luke 20, 17, Ephesians 2, 20, and 1 Peter 2, 7 says that's the Lord Jesus Christ. That's who we're talking about. And we're going to see a statement here is going to kick the Jehovah Witness right in the rear end. Soon. So verse 22, the subject is the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. It's the Lord's doing that they rejected him. That that stone will sit on top of all stones. This is a day which the Lord has made, and we will grow up and complain in it. That's not what it says. This is a day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So Jesus Christ makes the days. And you can find this in Psalm 150, verse 6, and 1 Thessalonians 5, 18. You're to rejoice every day. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. And that's what all these TV and radio preachers want. Send the prosperity. The prosperity is the Lord Jesus Christ coming and calling away the church for us. That would be prosperity. That's when we'll get the crowns. That's when we'll get the new body. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. He that came in the name of the Lord was, the, was Jesus Christ. Did you get that? Do you know that? Because you got to get that. Because we're coming to a nice good little verse now. Let's kick the Jehovah Witnesses right in the butt. God is the Lord. Jehovah is God. Jesus Christ is God. Psalms 118 27. Plain and simple. Which has showed us light, John chapter 1. The testimony of John the Baptist about Jesus. Bind the sacrifice with cords, tie the animal up. Even unto the horns of the altar. You either tie the animal up, and there were horns on the altar that you tied the animal to. That was going to be sacrificed. Thou art my God. You better have Jehovah, who is God. A Jehovah Witness is not saved if he, if he proclaims that Jesus Christ is not God. You need to stay away from them. They're a violation. John says in the second epistle that he writes, that's an antichrist. And he tells you, you're not in to wish him God's freed. You're not, you better be careful who you say God bless to. I say Gazute. Don't know. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. 
Oh, give thanks unto the Lord again as we close. I think we were to praise him. We we're to lift him up. We we're to exalt him. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Not man. Man is not good. For his mercy endureth forever. Again, it's all about the Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about God. That's what it's always, always about. If it wasn't for God, we wouldn't even be here. Oh, Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great. And when I think that God, his son, not sparing, sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, he bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee.